How you doing, mate? You alright? You both here, bro. Cheers, mate. Do I have to sign for it? Yeah. Are you taking pictures as well? Yeah. Cheers, mate. In a bit. It is seven in the morning right now. And I have been playing card for way too long. Went through water, higher pack of oranges, and a Terry's Orange fan. So this clip you're seeing was actually the release night of Black Ops Cold War and I had streamed it from midnight to 7 a.m. I was absolutely wrecked and as soon as I hopped into bed about to pass out the delivery man turns up at 7 30 to deliver my new iPhone now I'm not going to show you my new iPhone 12 Pro X Max QR whatever the hell the thing's called I'm sure you've seen it but what I am going to show you in this video is my entire Chrome Hearts collection. So I wanted to vlog today, but me being an idiot, I forgot my SD card at home. Didn't really do too much though, but I did have to go and get a COVID test because I am going somewhere, hopefully, obviously depending on the COVID test, somewhere very, very special. I want you guys to comment right now where you think I am traveling in the world. And fingers crossed, we get a negative COVID test and in the next vlog, we will be heading there. I wouldn't really open up Amazon parcels usually, but I spent a lot of money on some really, really good equipment and I wanna show you guys what I'll be taking on this trip. So this is like a rig that you screw your iPhone onto. Where's my phone? I set it up right now, but you get the gist. Anyway, I thought it was a pretty good product on Amazon. It was like 50 pounds. If it's rubbish, I'll send it back. But yeah, I thought I would try it out. You know what? I don't think my full Amazon order is actually here, bro. That's very sad. But it, it should be coming today. There we go. But a fully waterproof case for this camera that you guys are watching me on right now. This goes like 200 meters deep, so you can take your camera in the ocean, that's what. The other Amazon parcel with the real heat just arrived. So this is the box that I actually cared about. Now this is gonna upgrade the content. That's what I'm trying to do right now. This trip is kind of revitalizing my love, I suppose, for just kind of creating cool content. That's the problem I've had whilst being in lockdown or just being in the UK in general. Like I feel like on a day-to-day -day basis, I'm not really doing too much. So I've got nothing really to show you, I suppose. And I don't want to just be constantly buying stuff and just showing you what I bought, like which I'm actually doing right now. I kind of don't want to make my content like that anymore or make it fully revolve around that. This stuff is to improve the content. This is the 16 to 35 mil G Master, which is crazy. And it's gonna make my videos much wider, like that. The place I'm going in the next video, hopefully, as I said, I wanna capture all that scenery. I wanna capture everything around me. I don't want just my face just to like take up the whole screen. On some days where I don't wanna take this huge camera that I'm recording on right now, I have this little GoPro 9. Anyway, no more camera equipment stuff. Without further ado, what you guys clicked on this video for, my Chrome Hearts collection. Before I put the railing in my room and get started with all the apparel, I also have, yeah. Like a hundred Chrome Hearts matches. <laughs> so the rail is built and I put it in my room and I've put all my Chrome Hearts apparel on the railing. I also have Chrome Hearts trucker hats. I also have a decent amount of Chrome Hearts jewelry as well, but I think I'm gonna keep that for a separate video and kind of talk about my entire jewelry collection that I have. So let's get right into what you clicked on this video for my Chrome Hearts collection. Here's all my apparel. And first of all, we are gonna go with the Holy Grail, the Chrome Hearts Denim. These are a pair of vintage Levi 501s. That's what Chrome Hearts do. They go and buy vintage denim and then they'll put their own like Chrome Hearts spin on it with the silver buttons and the little accents here. There's a little Chrome Hearts badge on the back and then obviously all the iconic crosses. Now the reason I specifically went for this pair is one because of the wash, like the blue for me is perfect. Two, 
The 501s are probably one of my favorite pairs of Levi's. Like they just fit perfectly, especially over a pair of Air Forces. They also look really, really sick with Dunks and SBs and Jordan 1s. So there's a lot you can do with the 501 denim. Thankfully, I got this pair for retail, which is 2000 and 90 pounds in the UK, which I actually think is the cheapest in the world out of Hong Kong, LA, uh, Malibu store, Vegas store, which is absurd for a pair of jeans. Like when I had Amiri jeans, when I bought Amiri jeans, I thought those were expensive. They're around 850 to like 1200, depending on all the detail. These start at 2,090 pounds, which is insane but the most insane thing is they also resell from anywhere from like 4k and then i've seen some like custom matty boy pairs go for like 10 15k which is just insanity anyway this is my pair my pair actually has lamb skin crosses so it has like this furry texture to it with these like little polka dots i didn't want like some huge blowout i just wanted like a very minor rip there's also another little rip here and then also like that paint splatter which is very minimal it's not like the crazy fear of god paint splatter that is my chrome hearts denim and to be honest i would probably say my favorite chrome hearts piece moving on the first hoodie i have is a white horseshoe hoodie so it has the small horseshoe here, the big horseshoe on the back, and then the chrome hearts like crosses detail on both sleeves. Natalie actually got me this, which I'm really, really grateful for. This was actually my first chrome hearts hoodie, but the only issue is it's white. It's like anytime I wear it, anytime I go out, I spill something on it, and I'm always sending it to Natalie's mum to get stains out of it. So that's the only issue, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm probably not gonna buy any more white hoodies. Now my second hoodie is pretty much the same. It's got the horseshoe on the front, the horseshoe on the back, the same detailing on the side, but it's actually a zip up. The specific reason I wanted a zip up is to kind of have like my vintage style t-shirts underneath it with the zip up on top, some jewelry going on, that kind of vibe. So that's why I wanted the zip up. And also it has the dagger as the zip, which is pretty swag. Next hoodie I have, doesn't actually have anything on the front apart from like the Chrome Hearts tag here in red. In red, I actually think it looks really Call cool. it kind of pops, so it doesn't really need anything. But on the back, it has this sick graphic of these bright red lips. One of the teeth is yellow, which kind of really makes it pop. And then you've got like all the eyes in the checkerboards, which is really, really sick. Now, this hoodie is more expensive than the other two. This really heavy French terry cotton, whereas these two kind of just feel like blanks. And that is it for the hoodies. Now, let's go into some t shirts. I have two long sleeves here. This one's actually really old, but I really, really like it. I like that blue on it on the neck. And then it just says Chrome Hearts in their classic font on the sleeve. So that one's pretty cool, kind of just for like every day. This one's a bit more loud. It's black with that like neon green that was kind of hyped about a year ago. To be honest, that neon vibes have kind of gone out of fashion. But anyways, I still really, really like this and I've worn it a few times. And I have a really sick picture on my Instagram where I matched the colors perfectly to this G-Wagon when I was out in Monaco. So yeah, cool thing about Chrome Hearts t-shirts is they're not like extortionate in price right so most other designs like dior for example dior t-shirts right now a simple dior t-shirt with just dior on the front is like 560 pounds which is outrageous for a t-shirt like it's actually insane gucci are charging like 350 you've got balenciaga charging 425 i think chrome hearts tees short sleeves are 205 and long sleeves are like 225 or 235 something like that which isn't that bad like i can basically get two chrome hearts tees for the same price as a balenciaga tee then get like one balenciaga tee that says Balenciaga. Those t-shirts I feel like I can't get a lot of wear out of, whereas the Chrome Hearts ones, they're just black and white or white and black, or they have like a little logo somewhere. It's not like screaming like designer. So you can get much more wear out of them without people thinking like you've only got two t-shirts or something. Moving on, this was actually the first Chrome Hearts piece I picked up at the back end of 2018 when I was in LA. I went to the Malibu store. This was an exclusive Chrome Hearts Malibu tee. So I had to cop because I thought, well, nobody else I know is going to have that t-shirt. So I had to cop the Chrome Hearts Malibu one. And then another pocket tee I picked up from the Chrome Hearts store in London recently is this black and blue one. And then it has the crosses on the back. Moving on, I have two white short sleeves. Now this one's actually from like a year and a half ago this came out. But I managed to find it in the Chrome Hearts store. They had one left. I was going away and I was like, show me everything. I want to see everything you have. And she was bringing out stuff, bringing out stuff. And then she was like, oh, look. I found this, this came out ages ago, but we still have one double X 
XL in the back. And double XL kind of fits like XL in Chrome Heart, so it does fit me big, but I really, really like the color on the back where it kind of fades from light blue to blue to purple to almost like this maroon. So I haven't seen anybody with this T-shirt. Um, so yeah, I had to cop that one. Another neck tee, so it has a cross on the pocket, chrome hearts on the neck, and then on the back, I really, really like the graphic of this one. I wore this a lot in Dubai, pretty much every day. Another pocket tee I have is in white, the horseshoe on the front in like that neon color, the same as that other long sleeve I showed you. And then lastly, for apparel, I have another long sleeve pocket tee with the horseshoe on the back, the horseshoe on the pocket. It's actually exactly the same as the white hoodie, but just a long sleeve t-shirt. Now let's get into my trucker hats. Okay, so obviously I have one on my head right now. This one's from Hong Kong, just the classic black CH with whatever city you got it from. Everyone in London who has Chrome Hearts hats, it will say London, so it's pretty cool that when I'm in London, I have a Hong Kong one as if I actually went to Hong Kong, but I really didn't. I have a purple and pink, which actually goes for crazy money right now. I think this one on StockX right now is around 600, which is nuts. I paid retail for it, so I can't complain about that. Then I have a blue and red CH. This one says Hollywood USA. All of these trucker hats I got for retail or retail plus shipping from another country or something. I know it may look excessive that I have like eight trucker hats, but the value of them double or triple of what I paid. So I really don't mind just sitting on them and being excessive at that point. This one I also got from the Hong Kong store, but I don't really like the fit of it. This is like the old school fit and I just don't like the way it fits my head. So I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I have the lowest ask on StockX for this hat. So if you want it, go and cop it. The blue and the maroon, I really do like the colorway, but I just don't like the way it fits my head. Then I have the white and black FU, which lots of people prefer the FU over the CH. It is more rare, so I suppose it's just kind of like a hype thing. Then I also have the white and black in the CH as well. Well, but this one's actually faded and a bit dirty, but then I also kind of like it. It kind of looks like I've actually used it and doesn't look like that brand new, like fresh cap that I just got off the shelf. So I like the fact that this one's actually a little bit worn. And I have two camo ones, which you're probably looking at me like a sicko that I have two of the same hats. Well, yeah, they pretty much are the same, but they're from different seasons. The netting on this is camo and then the netting on this is black. So I'll probably go ahead and sell one of these. I'm not gonna lie to you. And then I also have a beanie because it's absolutely freezing in the UK. There are actually two more Chrome Hearts pieces that I completely forgot to show you guys. They are both sweatpants. This is the first pair. I picked them up pretty recently from the Chrome Heart store in London. They just say Chrome and Hearts on each leg. And then the second pair of sweatpants that I have is actually a much older pair. And I'm almost certain that they are actually women's because they fit kind of flared. You guys let me know which joggers you prefer. And I also have their face mask as well, which just released, which to be honest is a pretty decent price compared to some other designer face masks I've seen. Comment down below if you were to pick only one piece that I showed you here today, which one would you pick? Don't just pick the most expensive one, but please do let me know what's your favorite piece out of all the stuff that I showed you here today. Guys, that is my Chrome Hearts collection. I appreciate you making it this far in the video. It has been your boy, Ari Petru. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you smash a like on this video. The next video will most likely be my Chrome Hearts silver collection. So yeah, look forward to that and I'll see you then. Peace.